If we don't pray, we will faint. Yeah. Even if we are saved, little children, but if we don't pray, we will faint. So there are some prayers that God will never answer. Yeah. We see on the first part of our, our lesson, we are being told of another widow. And the wicked judge. This judge was wicked. He didn't care about anyone. Yeah. But this widow continually went to him because there was somebody who was troubling him. Yeah. But he was not helping him. But he kept on going. But one day he said, even though I don't fear God or I don't care about people, but I will heed her cry because she's troubling me every day. So this woman was importune in prayer. Yeah. She was persistent. Yeah. Until she get help. So as little children, we have to be importune in prayer as well. Until we get an answer. Let us not leave our altars while we don't have an answer. There is an answer at the altar. There is salvation in the altar. There is sanctification in the altar. It can be this altar or your own altar at home. Don't step out until you get an answer. Then we see the second part of our, our elementary lesson. We find two different people. The Pharisee and the public. They are all going to pray in the temple. The Pharisee, when he got there, he praised himself. And also said, I'm not like, thank you, Lord, that I'm not like this public. He told God that he can pay time. Everything that he does, he, find, he thought he was very right before God. But the publican could not even lift up his face. He just smote his chest and said, Be merciful to me, a sinner. And we hear that by the time he left the temple, the publican was joyful because God was merciful to him a sinner. He received salvation. And the Pharisee, he went out the same way he came in. He got nothing from God. And it says, what the Bible says, it teaches us that we must humble ourselves. When we come before the face of God, we must humble ourselves. We must come like this public. Who's not perfect? Who's seeking forgiveness of sin? Otherwise, our prayers will not be answered. For everyone that exalted himself shall be abased. And he that humbled himself shall be exalted. So may God help us, little children. Let us not see ourselves as perfect people. Otherwise, our prayers will not be answered. We must pray and believe. Because Jesus does not like those who does not have faith. 
Jesus is not like a cruel judge who does not care about people. He will answer our prayers if we pray with faith. Yeah. Jesus, when Jesus says that we have faith, that we will not take no for an answer. He will also give us the things we ask for. Yeah. If they are good for us. There are some things that we ask from God that are not good for us. Because he knows what is good for us, he will only give us those which are good for us. And those that are not good for us, he will not give us. Do we still remember the prophet Elijah? One day he was so unhappy. And he prayed to God that he would rather take my life. It's better for me to die. God did not grant him his wish of death. Because it was not good for him. God still wanted to use Elijah. Instead, he sent angels with food and gave it to him. So his prayer was not answered because it was not good. So God knows what is good for us in each Jesus looks in the heart and he loves every one of us. So let us ask him to help us to keep our hearts humble and pure before him and to keep our salvation. So we are inherit and we are going to inherit the kingdom of God. That is the summary of our elementary lesson. Let's get to our senior lesson. Amen. And junior lesson. Amen. Jesus' first and second appearance to the eleven. We all know about the resurrection of Christ. Yeah. And his resurrection it is the hope of every Christian. Yeah. If we don't believe on resurrection, then we are not Christians. And if we say we are worshipping to inherit the kingdom of God, we we, we, we are we, we are just lying to ourselves. Because we have to believe on resurrection. Without resurrection, we know that there won't be another one that we are waiting for as Christians. If Christ did not rise from the dead, our hope of resurrection would stand. We still remember on that when they were crucifying Jesus Christ. Before it happened, he did told his disciples what will happen. And they were so sorrowful when he was telling them all this, what will happen. But he did tell him that you will receive your joy again. Because he knows that he is going to rise again on the third day. On that morning, Easter, on that Sunday, the earth shook. When, when the Son of God was being resurrected, yeah. and an angel said on the rock that he, he removed from the sepulchre. And the message of the living Christ was suddenly all over. So we know about Mary Magdalene, the first woman who yeah. saw Jesus Christ after his resurrection. Yeah. 
There, our lesson, our title says Jesus' first and second appearances to the eleven. This is for no central city. Jesus showed himself the first part it is when he revealed himself on that Easter on that Sunday the day he raised from the dead and the second appearance that he's talking about is the one that is he revealed himself on the next Sunday after eight, day, eight days. His disciples were sorrowful in hiding because they were scared of the Jews that they might also come for them. We saw the women who went down to the sepulchre. And when they got there, they could not find him. Let us read from our scripture. Let's read John 20. Let's start from verse 19. Jesus appeared to Mary Magdalene first 
Even his reassuring words, he could scarcely convince them that it was really him. Uh, religions. 
abaninzi abantu abakholelwa kubo uyinkonzo zabo none of them ever died and rise again bona omnye kubo ke wafa wafuka kwabona even if they still worship them they believe that he is there the spirit is there not the glorious body not being alive like christ nokuba bangakholwa kubo bakholwa nje ukuthi ukhona kodwa kana mzimba okhazi kula nje ukuba yesu So we show that really he is the son of God. Yeah. And it is worthy to be worshipped. Yeah. And our faith is not in vain. Yeah. We believe that there is eternal life. And if we found not wanting, we'll have this glorious body as well. With the glorious body you could just appear from nowhere. You could just vanish from nowhere. May God help us. Let's read verse 
siyazi ukuthi ujeso owaba polokoya siyazi ukuthi ujeso owabathandazela kuba ukuthi mabafumane ubungcwele and even this part he was not baptizing them with the holy ghost even nakuwe kwesi sahluko wayenga bangcwane baba wayenga baba batizi ngoya kwengcwele let's let's read uh, genesis Thank you. 
The Bible says, take heed to yourself. In thy brother, trespass. Yeah. Rebuke him. And if he hear you, if he hear you, may God help us. If I can lead him, Masilum can, Ukubam Zanano, Ute, or one can man. And if you repent, forgive him. Uba Ute, or Ukuga, that's what the verse 23 says. That if they, they if whosoever sins you remit, they are remitted unto them. And whosoever sins you retain, they are retained. May God help us. Verse 23, which are all. Let's continue with our lesson. From the John chapter 20. John 20. Let's read verse 24. Yeah, 
kufuna ulwazi banzi ngeli zwi nga tshiko uthi xoza kunceda nawe kuvisise wazi aba God was not willing to let Thomas remain in doubt is not willing to let me to be a, to let me a, be a, being a doubter. Is not willing to leave you as a doubter. May God If you are still doubting, tell him what you want him to do so that you don't doubt. And he will make you not to doubt. He will do that so that he does not doubt. Yeah. Spirit will not come. 
come and forgive your sin. A spirit will not come and heal you. A spirit will not feel the touch of his glorious hand. May God help us. Amen. Jesus has sent the apostles at Bethel. Let's read again, Mark 16, verse 19. He still revealed himself to his apostles. Mark 16, verse 19. And Luke 24, verse 15. Chapter 16, verse 19. What do you say? Say, you be there Let's read Luke chapter 24, verse 50. And he let them out as far as he And he left up his hands. And he lifted up his hands and blessed Let's read Acts chapter 1, verse 2 to 9. Behold, 
two men stood by them with white apparel, 11, which also said, Ye men of Galilee, why stand ye gazing up into heaven? The same Jesus, which is taken up from you into heaven, shall so come in like manner as ye have seen him go into heaven. This is a promise that we have also today. We believe he has risen. I believe he has risen. I believe he is not a spirit. And I believe that he is coming again to take his church with him. And that same glorious body appeared to his disciples. He is also going to give me that, that same glorious body. That is my hope as a Christian. As long as I live the life of those who believe in him, I will be changed in this way. May God help us. Let us not doubt our Jesus Christ. There are lots of teachings out there. They are trying to discredit that Jesus Christ has risen from the dead. Don't allow the devil to take him, to take the hope of resurrection from you. Let us hold fast to what we have, what we have learned, and who so come with another doctrine, cast him away from you. And God will bless us. Yeah.